Take a look at these images. Just a sample of what dozens of Milwaukeeans claim they have lived with for years. All of them in units run by the Housing Authority of the City of Milwaukee. This is a story we have been covering for weeks. Federal agencies claim HACM is in trouble. Now city leaders say this has gone too far. Our Jenna Ray joins us live now from City Hall in downtown Milwaukee, where residents vented their anger at the housing agency today. Good afternoon, Jenna. Hi, Susan and Steve. Just about an hour ago, this council chamber behind me was filled to the brim with neighbors from across the city of Milwaukee. It was a really contentious afternoon with people booing, applauding, and a lot of emotion. Residents say they want to see change, and a common council committee just voted to do that. We are not going to quit. We're going to fight till it's right, and we are fighting. That's the message from dozens of Milwaukeeans Monday afternoon. All of them living in units ran by the Housing Authority of the City of Milwaukee or Hackham. This is my apartment. This is my bedroom. Baseboards falling off the wall. There's holes big enough for a cat to come through, and he, and he often does. Unwanted visitors. The rats are so bad you can't sit out on your patio. Oh. And bugs galore. Bed bugs and the washer. A dryer on the floor. All of these issues brought to a common council committee meeting Monday as city leaders work to step in to hold Hackham accountable. When does basic, basic decency kick in? Nobody is talking about the dignity and respect of these people's lives. Over the last several months, TMJ4 has learned thousands of complaints and maintenance requests from Hackham residents have gone unanswered possibly for years. That's on top of the recent U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development reports alleging Hackham is at risk for serious fraud, waste, and abuse. Now, city leaders want to appoint the Department of Neighborhood Services, or DNS, to oversee Hackham for accountability. Do you think it's acceptable for anyone in the city of Milwaukee to be living in a condition discussed as some of the ones that were here today? I believe that if those matters are brought to my staff's attention, we will address them, and that's what we will do. And that's what we've done in times past, and we'll continue to do that. Hackham's president, Willie Hines Jr., says he's open to having DNS's oversight and willing to work with the council to make the necessary changes. Now, the ordinance passed in this afternoon's meeting will go to the full common council in the next coming weeks. If the full council votes to pass this, then DNS will oversee Hackham. It's a task, DNS says, that could require more staffing and more money from the city. We're live in City Hall. I'm Jenna Ray for TMJ4 News. All right, Jenna, thank you.